Hey everybody, welcome back to DungeonGuru.net. This is Nether Void, also known as John, and today I'm doing an M36 Slugger strategy series. As you can see here, I've got it selected. And I'm sure you've seen my M10 Wolverine video, and where I say that tank sucks, and it's probably one of the most horrible experiences I've ever had in this game as far as the tank. Uh, but the M36 really redeems itself. It makes me have a, a lot of faith now in this American TD line. This is the Tier 6 uh, American TD, and I think it's just because this gun is just amazing for this tank. And uh, the more and more, the more I, tanks I play, the more I realize it's the gun that makes the tank. If you don't have a good gun, the tank's gonna suck, and that's kind of what happened to me with the uh, the M10. And I know there's a lot of people that say the M10's great, I mean, you're just a horrible player. I don't know, man. I've driven tons of tanks, and that thing just sucks. Sorry. First thing I want to say, let's go over the stats overall. Uh, this thing is, like I said, it's a pretty good tank. Uh, I I really enjoyed myself playing this thing. Obviously, fully upgraded. I really enjoyed myself. Um, it definitely redeems the TD, the American TD line, and I've heard the uh, the its its successor, the uh, the eight T twenty five AT is even better. So I'm really really looking forward to that too. This thing has 590 hit points. Uh, it starts off with 560, as you can see with the uh, stock turret there. So 590 hit points, not that bad for a TD. Not really great, but it doesn't really matter. The whole point of a TD is don't get hit. Uh, 29 tons pushed around by 420 horsepower decent this thing actually has some acceleration it's not too bad um, you get, it gets you around 42 speed limit you probably won't get to that except going downhill but you're, you're gonna get in the 30s at least this thing's actually well maybe the high 20s now traverse speed 30 combined with the 18 this really crummy 18 turret speed the turret turns really slow but if you combine it with the 30 track speed it's actually not that bad um, but that's how TDs are supposed to be. If it had 30 and 30, this thing would be ridiculous. I mean, it would, wouldn't even be a TD, really. It would be more like a medium tank. Uh, let's go over hull. 114 in the front. Really nice armor. That's pretty good armor, especially for TD. 25 on the sides and rears. On the rear. Don't, don't get flanked. TD, don't get flanked, okay? Uh, the turret armor, 76. Not that great. Uh, it does have a huge mantlet. Hopefully, they'll hit you there. Again, 25, 25 on the sides. You cannot get hit on the side. You need to keep this whole thing facing the enemy. Do not let the enemy see anything but the front of this thing. In fact, I wouldn't even hide that much because you want them to hit this hull. Because you've got a lot more armor on that hull than on that turret. Um, so I'd maybe hide the lower plate and that's about it. Try to get them to hit right here on, the, on your front glasses. Um, rate of fire we're going to talk about later, but it's really nice. It actually reloads pretty quick, which is really not surprising. A lot of American guns reload fast, at least at this level of play. We already went over to uh, turret traverse speed. 420 view range, that's pretty standard for a TD, not that great. Again, if you really wanted to, you could put on the Binox, which I don't have an extra copy, but there they are, uh, and push that thing up to like 480 or something like that. Uh, signal range, 450, I think that is the, oh no, there is a 700 radio, I should have bought that. So I would get the 700 radio, it's probably worth it. Um, you're probably going to be able to put that on the, uh, on the uh, AT25 or A25, let me look here. Probably yeah, there it is. So yeah, get the radio is pretty good at 700 uh, meters, and we'll get into that in a second. Uh, we're going to skip weak points because it's a tier 6 tank, but I would probably just say lower plate. I'm not really sure where the weak points are on this tank, or right up here on the top of the turret. That's a great spot. I would imagine right between the mantlet and the ring right here, right in that turret ring is going to be great. You can stick the stick the ring doing that. Um, and modules. Let's go over the modules. We just talked about the radio a little bit. 450 is okay. It's going to get like I, I I didn't upgrade this thing at all. None of the games I have the um, upgraded radio. But get it. You know, as you saw it cost about fifty thousand or something like that. Forty five thousand. If you just saw it, just roll the video back. Uh, and that's going to get you any kind of range you're ever going to need. Seven hundred meters. So tracks. A little bit of an upgrade. But as you can see, you're going to need it. You're going to need it to load all these guns and extra turrets and all that crap and engine. So you're going you're gonna to have to get it. But you only get 2 degrees per second. It's okay. It helps you with your acceleration too. Uh, engine, the first engine is okay and you get little steps up. It's, it's still going to feel really slow at 350 horsepower. It's, it's not going to feel great. Uh, but the 420, 420 horsepower engine really does help. Uh, it makes this thing have a little bit more get up and a, a little bit more um, acceleration. Helps when you're hopping between trees or rocks or whatever. It's pretty nice. The turret is really, there's no increase in the turret as far as stats, except there's a slight reload uh, increase, so you're definitely going to want to get it. Plus, you get the, the 40 more hit points, I think it is. Let's just look again. Th 30 more hit points. I mean, I guess that in itself is worth it, and, and obviously the, re the reload increase is awesome. 
uh, the guns. The first gun is not that bad at 128 penetration. You're still going to be able to hit people, but this is a tier 6, and that gun is really not that great. The uh, rounds per minute is pretty good, actually. Um, actually, it's probably got more DPS, I would say, than this uh, the top cure gun. But you know what? In this case, look at that, 160 pen. You really need that as a TD, especially since you're trying to keep the front facing the enemy, you don't have a lot of chance. You're not going to be flanking these guys or anything. I mean, you can, if you can get that kind of uh, position, great, do it. But chances are you're not going to be able to pick your shots. You're just going to have to take the shots that you're given because uh, TDs are, are like that. Unless you're playing, well, even an assault TD, if you're right in their face, it's not like you can turn a lot. You need to keep the front of your armor facing those guys. So, but this gun is actually really amazing, the 90 millimeter gun. I love this gun, and it jacks people up. Awesome. It really, it's just a really great gun. I love it. So let's talk about research. So here we are back on Andrew Punk's account. I'm kind of glad he doesn't play this game that much. Right? I'd have to make a new account to do this kind of stuff. But anyway, here, uh, here it is. So I was just screwing around on me on my account, and I noticed that you don't have to get the tracks right away. Uh, it does help a little bit, but you don't have to get them. That is a kind of a high XP value compared to these other things. So the first thing I'd get, you can get the engine, which is 900. That's an easy, that's a no-brainer right there. You can get the engine, you can throw on the radio, and you can throw on this gun and still not have to get tracks. You cannot throw, actually you can get all the way up to the second engine. Uh, you just can't put the second turret on there without getting the tracks. So with that in mind, you're going to want to get this engine first. That's the first thing I get. And then I'd probably get the second engine because they're really easy to get. Uh, after I get the two engines, I'd get this gun, and then I'd probably go for the tracks because the radio is not a huge upgrade. I mean, it is, but you don't have to have it. I get tracks, and then I get the second turret, or the second turret and then I get that radio. And then, obviously, the T25AT. So it's a slightly different uh, tech tree than you're used to. Usually, you go tracks first, but on this one, engine one, engine two, gun, tracks, second turret, radio. You'll see it off to the side over here. Then T25AT. So that's pretty simple. Uh, well, simple yeah they're all simple but this is slightly different and I think it's gonna benefit you to go uh, with that research priority and we're back on my account and so next up is equipment and here's what I would do I get gun rammer because anything to make the gun shoot faster if they had vents I'd get it but they don't so I'd probably get camo that's kinda obvious too to help you hide behind bushes and I get binoculars because that will put you up to almost 500 range and uh, since this gun can penetrate at 500 meters, you know, pretty pretty reliably, uh, that's going to help you see those tanks further away, and so you don't have to get so close in people's faces and stuff. Just pop, perch up in your favorite snipe spot, and uh, shoot those guys. It's pretty simple. So, let's go over consumables. I just have the, uh, for tiers 5 and 6, I just put the one repair kit here in the middle, so I can go 5-5 five, five for tracks, and uh, I don't get any other consumables because I don't want to spend too much money. Um, for ammo, I go. I almost never use heat on this thing because it has such a good, uh, easy time penetrating. But I do 35 rounds of AP and 12 rounds of heat of HE. That should do do just fine. If you find you need more AP because you're shooting more often, just switch over some HE. It's no big deal. So crew, your crew will not look like this uh, when you first first fill out this tank. It'll probably be about 80 percent or so, 85 percent. Um, I had already ground out the the eight man why am i have such a problem with that thing i always have a problem with that t25 at i've been grounding out the t25 at and i only needed like four more games to get these guys to 100 percent so i do advise that before you move on to the tier seven and what you're going to do is you're going to um you're going to train these guys in camo for tds that's what i uh, recommend you i kind of was having a hard time picking that actually this time because repair is so good um, but really you should not be getting hit because you should be hiding people should not be able to find you and you want to be able to hide as long as possible because while this thing does hit hit hard like you've seen it um, it has great armor on this in the front well I mean not great but it's good armor but you really don't want to be getting hit with that kind of hit points and and the kind of armor you have on the sides and stuff so that's gonna help this tank a lot uh, for high to hide behind bushes and stuff like that and generally not be seen so that's what I would do with my crew uh, I didn't really go over how to generally play just the general aspects of how to play this tank and uh, so we'll just do it now the way I play this tank is it I kind of do either or and I have I have games with both play styles I'll either play it like a straight up TD where I perch up in a sniper position or behind bushes and kind of snipe and and support people or if I'm kind of 
uh, more if I'm higher up in, in the list. I'll drive this thing kind of like an Assault T because it does have a, a turning turret. Uh, you can play it a lot like a medium, but I do a lot of peekaboo with it where I'm just trying to hide my hide myself because my armor's so weak and just pop out and shoot someone. Uh, wait till they forget about me, pop out and shoot them again, or try to get a flank on them. That works really well with this tank too because it does have the good acceleration. Uh, so those are the two, two general play styles of how I play this tank. And I see a lot of the um, A25 T, I'm probably butchering that again, T25 AT, I've seen a lot of T25 AT drivers drive that tank more as an assault tank, so uh, this this will get you more used to driving like an assault tank. Uh, so that's kind of how I would, I would uh, and I'm probably showing you a game or two uh, where I'm driving it in with either style. So anyway, that's how I play this tank, so let's get this thing in the game. So this time around I spell, spawned on El Haloof, and I don't really, well, in a TD, this is, I don't really like this map. And a lot of that is because I don't really like to play TDs. And the reason is, and right here I'm trying to go for my favorite TD spot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out trying to do some uh, playing this tank as a TD instead of an assault gun. This is the best TD spot, in my opinion, on this side of the map. And the reason I don't like playing TD style is because I don't have a lot of patience to sit there and not do anything. Um, I don't mind playing TDs if, they're, if there's something to shoot at. But sitting here is not really that fun for me. I don't like to play defense and wait for the enemy to show up. And I didn't get that guy from further enough, uh, far enough to head. <clears throat> so I'm behind these bushes. Usually there's kind of a fight for this spot. This is the best. I'm sure you guys, this is nothing new, I'm sure to you guys. But this is the best TD spot. And as you can see, normally if I'm playing a medium or a heavy, I'd go for the alien corner, build that lane. None of, nobody on our team is going for it. That pretty much means you're going to lose. Almost every time we, the team does not cover A1 or does not cover it with enough tanks to actually make a difference, you'll lose the game on this map. Um, so I don't have too much confidence. I am recording this after the fact, but I'm just going to act like I'm in the game. Uh, I don't have too much confidence at this point because nobody's covering it. But, you know, I'm a TD, so I'm doing my TD job. I'm in my TD spot. Um, heavies and mediums should be in their spots, but apparently they want to snipe on this map. Ooh, here's a big juicy target. T1 coming right up on the edge. You will get spotted almost every time you're coming up on that ridge. Just really not a great place to sit. And he's going to pay for it here. Quick here. <coughs> Plus with the armor. and that, that thing is so huge, you're just a sitting duck, man. If we don't get you, Artie's going to get you. Because... You're such a huge target. It's just free credits right there. So, still, nobody's going for A1. This is not looking good for us, man. Not looking good. You can see how fast this gun reloads. It's insane. I love this gun. The 90 mil is insane. So, right there, I took a couple extra sh shots, even though it's blind, because a lot of times people won't move. Obviously, they don't know if you can see them or not. They, If they didn't move, they probably still think you can still see them. So, if they're not moving, take a couple more shots. I, I usually kill the tank... Um... Maybe 30% 30, 30 of the time that I, I do those blind shots. And you can see A1 starting to light up. That's at least two tanks. Three tanks at A1. If you're looking at the minimap, the enemy for the enemy side. That is not good. Looks like they're already pushing. Well, one of them is pushing down the hill. Didn't the fourth tank just show up? This is, this is definitely not good. So now I'm saying, hey guys. Stop sniping and get over there. You know, big the big tanks should be over at A1. Because that's where you need to push. At least to stop them. Especially the KV with that derp. You're not sniping anybody with that derp gun. <clears throat> so now it's five tanks over at A1 on the enemy side. Maybe six. I can't tell if A2, if that's two guys or not. Probably just a medium tank. I'm pretty sure we're going to get crushed. They're already crossing the valley over there on A1. And they're crushing us right there bad. I'm signaling again, hey, we need to cover that. Uh, because it's wide open right now. And here's the reason they're crushing us so bad. They're getting one tank at a time. That's the surefire way to win the game. If you can kill the enemy one tank at a time, you're going to win no matter what. They had five guns shooting one tank. So now, they're going to come up that hill and kill off D1, and then they're going to kill off F2, and they're going to get us one at a time again, because we're not at least sending a little pack of guys over there. We need about four or five tanks. Okay, actually, we got guys moving up there now. And see, I haven't done anything. This is why I don't like TDs. I'm bored. I'm just waiting for somebody to show up. Just watching the minimap. Trying to play TD like a good TD. 
waiting for someone to cross the... Because sometimes they will, though. When this happens and we're getting overwhelmed in one spot, people will think, hey, this game's going to be over soon. This is my two times or whatever. I need to get some credits. I'm going to go barreling across the valley right here, and hopefully nobody shoots me, and I'm going to climb up that hill and either take the base or shoot some people. So it is good that I'm covering this spot, because if we, everybody went to A1, then we have the opposite problem where nobody's covering the position that I'm at. So I need to... So, uh, <clears throat> so I'm just doing my part covering this side here. Our KV-3 is still perched up at K-5, just sitting there sniping. Looks like he might be moving now. We lost another guy over there, A-1. Okay, now I'm thinking, all right, if I just sit here, we're going to lose a we're gonna lose everybody and we're going to lose the game. They've got a three-tank lead on us right now. I'm going to switch modes from TD mode to assault gun mode. Let's get this 90mm tank into the game because I am third down on the list. That should that shot should penetrate. Side of a KV-3 turret is probably 100 max. I think it's 75 actually, but maybe even 95. 100, 160 pen gun should have been. <coughs> so at this point, we, we are now down seven tanks. We are down seven tanks. I, I'm i almost positive we lose that we lose this game. M6 getting punished right there. Not the greatest armor. Really big target. Probably feels like, hey, they're going to win. Who cares? Let's get out and get some credits. Boom! There goes your KV-3, bro. Um, you just got hurt, because that KV-3 was the best tank they had. Everybody else is hurt pretty bad. Artie doing their thing. Great Artie shot right there, taking out another guy. Now we're only down four tanks. Oh, now we're only down three tanks. So we did a big swing right there. We're still hurting, though. Six to nine matches is still not good. And this guy's hidden a little bit. Let's see if we can get this guy, though. Boom! Now it's only a two-tank swing. And this is looking a lot better for us now. Uh, mainly, all they have left is TDs. I kind of like that, because TDs are not very aggressive, and they're easy to take out one by one. Um, defensive players are almost always easier to kill. It's just the way it is. You're de oh, now, oh, now they're creeping up the other side. Like I said, sometimes they do. When they look feel like the odds are stacked, stacked in their favor. So what do we have? I think that's an E2. And no, it's E8. Easy 8 right there. Let's see. Let's get some damage on this fool. Let's get a side shot. Boom! Big damage. See that 90 mil gun? Big damage. 230 damage. That took like, uh, looked like about 25 to 30 percent of his health. He's almost dead. He, that's the best tank they have left. Boom! He's dead. They're only one tank up on us now. We got the A1 situation handled. This is turning into actually a good game. And you know what? That's another thing you need to know. When you need to. Oh, you're dead. One shot. When do you need to move out of your position uh, to help support a line that's getting crushed or something like that? Boom, you're going to die. Because you can't just sit there and hope that you guys win. If you hope you guys win, you're not going to win. You need to make it happen. Boom, top gun. We got this thing under control now. And that's kind of how. That's really how you need to play this tank, especially top tier. When you're top tier, your team is relying on you. You need to make the moves that's going to win the game for you guys. That's what I did right there. Pull out of my TD spot. I didn't just keep my head in the ground like a lot of TDs do. They'll just sit there and play defense all day long, and they won't move up because they're scared, and that's kind of why they play TDs, I think, but I'm not really sure. Not all TDs are like that. Just, just a few. Just a few of them are like that. So now I'm just kind of waiting. I'm not sure what to do. Usually in this situation, if I was in a medium or heavy, I'm going to push to their side. What I'm kind of thinking is, you guys go push, and I'll, I'll snipe for you guys. I'll cover you. Uh, that way, at almost any point on this side of the map, they're going to have two guns. Their gun and my gun on them. That's going to help a lot. The KV-3, still playing... I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't... He's kind of scared still. I have no reason why. Nobody over there can hurt him. Even the, M even the priest is going to have a hard time with him. Alright, so now we got some guys pushing, and I think, you know what, I'm just going to go for it, especially if the KV is not going to go. I'm going to go, because, oh, here we go, found their arty, he's going to die, oh, here we go, found a 3-4 just sitting out in, in nowhere land, boom, let's make him pay for it, then he hides a little bit, <clears throat> I'm going to tr try to shoot blind, but you know, I should have, oh, he's already dead, I should have kept my gun on the bush, though, so I could get a blind shot on him, so, if that priest gets a shot on him, he can kill him in one shot. So I go over there to make sure it doesn't happen, but he takes care of it. Now all they have is that Jag 4. This is almost 
surely a win at this point of the game. Rarely will one tank take out five other tanks. If they're all really damaged, it can happen, especially that PZ-4 if has a short 88. It, it can, if it catches you by surprise, it can do some real damage. Um, probably not in this case, because I can at least take one shot from it. Not two shots if it has a short 88. Two shots would kill me. But, okay, so he's going to go up that direction, and I'm going to cover a totally different direction. When you're looking for someone, it's better to split up for, for two reasons. The main reason is you want to take him by surprise. You don't want to go the same direction because you might not be able to take him by surprise. Maybe he takes you by surprise, and then you're going to get screwed. He'll shoot one of the guys. Now it's a 1v1 game. I don't know, something like that. Secondly, you want to make sure he don't leave a lane open for him to cap you. These guys are like, oh, he won't cap. They're saying he won't cap. I've seen this happen a hundred times. We're all climbing the hill. It takes forever, right? He's already over by our base because we didn't see him because we didn't cover all the lanes, and he's capping us. We can't get back in time. We can't cap either faster than he caps. They win the game. I've seen it happen. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. Just don't take any chances. This game is about not taking... Well, <laughs> that's not true, too. In this point of the game, you don't take any chances. Just, you've got time... We're going to get the cap now. Don't worry about it. we got plenty of guys near the cap now. But don't take chances. Cover all the lanes. I don't know if we find this guy or not. I can't remember. I think he hid. Which, you know, hey, that's not a bad move. Why die? Why spend the credits? You're not going to win. Well, I mean, there's a very slight chance you are gonna you might win. But if you're especially if you're holding out for credits, if you don't have a premium account, don't, don't just die for no reason. I don't care what people say, coward, whatever they say. Just, uh, hang in there and try to hide and try not to get killed. Save the credits. So, we're capping this thing. It's a sure victory. This really surprised me. This game really surprised me. We were down seven tanks. Half of our team, we were down. And we still pulled it off. So, I think we did a really good job in this in this uh, game. And, you know, getting Top Gun is awesome, too. I did a good job, too. And that's kind of how you play this, this tank. Just, uh, destroying fools. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.